In the headlines, a challenge to the business community to facilitate the ease of e-learning for school children, a reassessment of travel protocols as Dominica prepares to welcome more visitors to its shores, and a new platform to further promote local products to a wider audience. I am Andrea Louis with the Channel 5 News, back with the details after this. strong, we are resilient, and we will get through this together. But these are stressful times, and it's important to also practice good self-care. It's normal to feel overwhelmed, anxious, or afraid, but there is hope. Reach out to someone, connect with your friends, stay in touch with your community, and know that you are not alone. We're in this together. This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. Flow helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up, switch to Flow. It only gets better. Thank you for staying with us. First up, a challenge to the business community to assist children with online learning. This from country manager for Ruiz Dominica, Nicholson Dodds, after donating 40 tablets to the Goodwill Primary School on Tuesday. Dodds says despite trying times, businesses must make the effort to invest in the education of the country's children, especially as they are navigating through learning amidst a global pandemic. I want to take this opportunity to actually call on the, uh, the corporate and the business world out there, the business uh, citizens out there, to actually follow suit. We know these are very difficult times with COVID-19. We know that that is very difficult. It's not easy for us because, I mean, we have, there are a lot of other commitments that we have, and our business was, uh, or has been, because continue, our business is equally impacted by the onset of COVID-19. Nevertheless, we saw the need for, for to invest in students. We quite often say that if the children are our future, I believe that if they are our future, we have to invest in them no matter how difficult times may be. The donation from Rubis Dominica, as it continues to observe its close partnership with the school, which started following the passage of Hurricane Maria, when the company took to rebuild the school's auditorium, which was damaged by the hurricane. This came about as a, by an initiative of Miss, uh, Miss Lee, the principal. I remember she calling me sometime during the lockdown period, saying to me that uh, some 200 students are without uh, devices because as you know during that period of time everything had to be done online uh, being the good uh, corporate citizen that we are at Rubis we responded in a tangible way I was very impressed this morning when I came by and I saw um, quite a lot of students working on their devices and the thought came to me what about those who don't have devices so I'm very happy that Rubis can come to the aid of the school to make such a valuable and tangible contribution. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education, Chandler Hyacinth, says this donation is timely as the Ministry is looking to increase the use of e-learning. We are hoping that once we have devices at schools for our students to use, we expect to see more use of those devices in teaching and learning. The intention is, especially earlier on, early on this term, is once we can get our teachers comfortable with teaching using the devices and getting our students comfortable with the devices, as you said, in the event we have to shut down, we'll be better prepared for handling e-learning. So we want to say thank you very much. The donation of 40 tablets amounts to 14,000 EC dollars. In Water of Stories, General Secretary of the Public Service Union wants more time for submission of feedback on the Hospital Authority Bill. 
Last month, the National Health Commission published four bills for public feedback which it hopes to have enacted by Parliament this year. The bills are the Hospitals Authority Bill, the Medical Professions Bill, the Nursing Professions Bill and the Pharmacy Professions Bill. General Secretary of the Public Service Union, which represents employees at the Dominica China Friendship Hospital, Thomas Leta, says the union has several concerns over the hospital authorities' bill and a recent meeting with the National Health Commission did not allay its fears. The time was spent to inform us of the bills, not to discuss the, the bills, but to tell us about the bills, to give us or to indicate to us that at some point, something will have to be recommended to the government, that is as, as it relates to um, cost of hospital um, operation, where people will have to be paying for, to, for, 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 for cost of hospital services. Um, no detail, no, no decision has been taken, but that is something that has to be considered, and also to tell us that it's important that we present our feedback. The union is still reading through and assessing the proposed bills. However, Mr. Leitar says feedback from members indicates that more time should be given before taking these bills to Parliament. Yeah. Their overall feedback is that the, the bill in the form that is being recommended has a lot of implications, negative implications for them and they have asked us to ask that that bill do not will not should not be rushed to parliament because it's very serious and we have to make sure that there is enough time to study and to submit whatever recommendations the deadline for submission of feedback from stakeholders and members of the public is monday 21st september in other developments, a new platform to increase visibility and sales of local products in the country. This is the aim of ShopDM, an online platform geared at promoting local products to reach a wider local market while reducing the need to move around. Founder of ShopDM, Davidson Edwards, is optimistic this platform will help alleviate some of the problems which local businesses face. I've actually been preparing to do some business similar to this for the last you know five years while I've been um, abroad but I came down in March and um, and it just so happened that there was a global pandemic at that time and it was pretty obvious that we needed to to be shopping online so um, so it, it seemed pretty natural since people couldn't meet in person um, that we should just go to e-commerce as we probably should have done a decade ago um, and that's how the idea came up but then as I started diving into the idea more and more, I um, learned a lot more about uh, the challenges that the local producers and local business in, businesses in general are facing. The business venture, which was launched on 4th August with 20 sellers and 50 products, now has 50 sellers and over 200 products with more items to come on stream. ShopDM is a platform that's pretty similar to Amazon, uh, which sells local uh, products from local businesses. So the goal for buyers is to just give them the same level of convenience that you know they likely have experienced before when they've been uh, overseas buying or um, just even from here buying and then sending through Shopbox. For people who come onto the platform to sell their products, uh, what we want to do with ShopDM is to help everyone access the market more easily. Um, so we want uh, established businesses in Roseau to be able to sell not just the people who manage to come to Roseau, but all the way to Wesley, all the way to Pichler. And most excitingly, we want to do that same thing for um, for small small businesses. While this platform provides a level of convenience for buyers, Edwards says ShopDM is in no way meant to undermine or compete with physical stores or supermarkets. We don't want to be in competition with any existing store. We only want to magnify all of these stores. And, and of course, that's going to require um, targeted decisions on our mind. You know, like, um, but because that's where we're thinking, those are the decisions we're making. We're not making any decisions that will, um, that we're not purposefully making any decisions that we think will be to the detriment of existing stores. We're only making those where we, are, we, we always ask ourselves, 
okay, so six months down the line, will this mean more sales for the average store or less? You're watching the Channel 5 News. Stay tuned for more after the break. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new All-In Bundle. With flow, it only gets better. We are strong, we are resilient, and we will get through this together. But these are stressful times, and it's important to also practice good self-care. It's normal to feel overwhelmed, anxious, or afraid, but there is hope. Reach out to someone, connect with your friends, stay in touch with your community, and know that you are not alone. We're in this together. This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. Welcome back. A re-evaluation of Dominica's COVID-19 travel protocols as the country prepares to welcome more visitors to its shores. During his Anupale program on Sunday, Prime Minister Skerritt revealed that CARICOM heads of government recently held a meeting with the Caribbean Public Health Agency, CARFA, to discuss travel within the CARICOM bubble. Mr. Skerritt says further recommendations were provided by the agency, which will be reviewed locally to determine how best to move forward to ensure the safety of citizens and visitors. Thus on Friday, we had a very lengthy um, CARICOM heads meeting. Uh, we received a report from CARFA uh, advising us on some of the protocols that we should, um, we should put in place and the, the categories of of the CARICOM bubble and what, that, what does that entail and who should qualify. And then you have low risk countries, uh, medium risk countries and high risk and, and, and even I believe extra high risk um, countries. Um, and what are the protocols you should put in place for each of these categories. And, and so we will be reviewing the CAFA recommendations. And I'm hoping that I can arrange a meeting with the DHT and the DIC and other and private sector entities to discuss these new recommendations from, from um, CAFA and to see how we can juxtapose them against what we have in place so that we can have tourists coming in. The Prime Minister also disclosed that cruise lines have expressed interest in resuming calls to the island. And while the first round of meetings has been held with cruise lines, further discussions are on the cards to determine how best cruise ships can visit the country while ensuring the safety of the residents and tourists. The cruise ships have indicated that they want to come back. Um, we are having discussions with them. We have, um, uh, I believe that if we can find, uh, if we can find a, a very um, safe way of allowing crews to come back, we should allow it. Um, we're discussing this with the cruise lines. I believe that, that there's a meeting between the ministry. There was a first meeting between the Ministry of Tourism, led by the minister, along with um, some of the cruise lines. There'll be a, a subsequent meeting uh, this week to see if we can um, further the, the discussion. Once we have an understanding between ourselves, then we will share this with the public so that the public can appreciate what is it that we're talking about in terms of allowing cruise ship passengers to come into Dominica. And the staff and pupils of the Newtown Primary School adjusting well to the COVID-19 guidelines and protocols for the safe reopening of schools. Children were welcomed back to the classrooms last week Monday under the new circumstances brought about by the COVID-19 crisis. Principal of the Newtown Primary School, Anita Williams, says to date the children are doing a good job of adapting to the new school environment. Well, the children, um, to me, they're coping nicely with that. What we did in preparation of school on their part is that we had a psychosocial training for principal and staff and already we can say that help us to help them because the, the, the session took us to what affected us as adults in COVID time. What make us happy, what make us sad because all of us have, all of us 
have a story with COVID. So going to the classroom, we had them do that same exercise in the form of what make them happy or how were they feeling during lockdown? Knowing they're coming to school now, how do they feel? The modifications to the school include, but are not limited to, awarding to sanitize children's hands upon entry to the compound, physical distancing in the classrooms, changes to the format of recess time, and of course, the wearing of masks. Throughout um, the morning part of the school, meaning when they are in school writing, the mask kind of, we want them to have a little ventilation, a little air to breathe. So we have them have their mask off for a little while, but from the time they leave the classroom, the mask must be on because you want them to um, be protecting, protect, you want them to protect themselves and others, teachers to have their mask. So it's just for classroom work, you have them have it off for a little while. But we can afford to do it in a sense because we have the physical distance in the classroom. The children are currently undergoing their diagnostic tests to assess where they are academically and what needs to be improved. Williams says the school's computer lab will be put to good use to ensure the children are well versed on the e-learning platforms. The computer lab is that's not a white elephant. We use it. We do our computer classes every day. Every, for the week, the children have computer classes, different grades. So we use it and we also want to make them be more aware of how to use for Google Classroom, you know. And we're hoping to have a little training as we're on Google Classroom topic with our grade K parents because we have a new grade K coming in. Flow helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up, switch to Flow. It only gets better. We are resilient and we will get through this together. But these are stressful times and it's important to also practice good self-care. It's normal to feel overwhelmed, anxious or afraid. But there is hope. Reach out to someone, connect with your friends, stay in touch with your community and know that you are not alone. We're in this together. This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play, and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new all-in bundle. With flow, it only gets better. To end the news, the headlines again. A challenge to the business community to facilitate the ease of e-learning for school children. A reassessment of Dominica's COVID-19 travel protocols as the country prepares to welcome more visitors to its shores. And a new platform to further promote local products to a wider audience. Feel free to access our past newscast on our YouTube channel. On behalf of the entire production team, I am Andrea Louis. And to all of our viewers around the world, thank you so much for watching. Join us next time.